Whilst my experience with the PSVR 2 so far has been incredible, there has always been a little bit of blurriness there, but today I'm going to be reviewing lens inserts from VR Rock which claim to fix that problem. Now, I am ever so slightly short sighted and in VR that blurriness is sort of amplified and it's something I've had issues with since day one. I've seen lots of people complaining about blurriness with a VR 2 headset and for the most part it's either going to be that you haven't found the sweet spot yet or your eyes are a problem even if you don't think you need glasses. If your eyesight isn't absolutely perfect then lens insert should really sharpen up the image you get through the headset and well if your eyesight is quite poor and you already know that these are a must. So when they come in at a base price of $59 you might be asking are VR rocks lenses actually any good? Well they do ship worldwide and typically arrive within a week. Mine got here to the UK just seven days after they were ordered. They come in a small material case that feels well made and should protect everything inside for when you don't have them installed. Opening it up we have the lens inserts which come properly wrapped and protected ensuring the glass is spotless. I should also say a huge thank you to VR Rock for sending me these lenses but that doesn't mean I'm going to sugarcoat everything. This review is made to be fully honest and there are a couple criticisms I have which I'll get to later on in the video. They have also given me a discount code that you can all use for 10% off of any of their lenses for any VR headset. So use the link in the description and make sure to apply code Octorious at the checkout. To install the lenses, you first check if it is a right or left lens using the tab on the top. This tab should go at the top of the lens and once you're ready to put it in, it's simply a case of placing it over the lens on the VR2 and lightly pushing down. Comparing the left lens with the insert installed to the naked right lens, you can see it adds a couple millimeters of height, but they do go on and off really easily. It adds a little bit extra width too, which isn't a problem for me, but if your eyes are really close together and your IPD has to be set super low because of that, you might be able to feel the inserts pressing on your nose, so just bear that in mind. Personally, I'm much more immersed using these than glasses is not only do they let you get closer to the lens but you aren't having to worry about scratching them. If you do get anything on the lenses they are super easy to clean too. I've actually found these much easier to clean than the lenses in the headset itself. Now the first time I put the headset on with the inserts I was absolutely blown away. My prescription is only negative 0.5 in my left eye and then negative 0.75 in my right eye. So these lenses aren't that strong at all but all of that blurring I had been having issues with before, either in games or around text on menus, immediately vanished. What I will say is because of how much sharper the display suddenly was, that minor film grain or screen door effect was much more noticeable in dark scenes and the chromatic aberration around text on the UI stood out more too. That's where the text goes all TikTok logo style with the different colours around it, but it is significantly better than before I had these inserts. I was also surprised by the fact that everything looks sharper with the lens inserts than with my actual glasses. I expected it to be about the same and the lens inserts were just going to be for convenience. I'm not quite sure why this is and I assume it's just possibly because I never found the sweet spot for the VR with my glasses on. As I said earlier, that sweet spot really does make a difference. I should also mention that these lens inserts are completely compatible with VR2's eye tracking. I do recommend readjusting the eye tracking when you first install them, but since I've done that, it has worked just as well as it does without the inserts in. With them both installed then, the anti-glare and anti-blue light coatings are immediately apparent due to those weird tinted reflections. These coatings come in at an extra $10 each and are certainly worth considering. From my own experience, the anti-blue light coating does seriously reduce eye strain and I find that I'm able to wear the headset for as long as I want now without my eyes ever feeling tired, so that's definitely a plus. As you can see from the included blue light testing kit, the lens does a great job of cutting it out without having an impact on colour. I did also try having one lens installed and leave even the other empty and I couldn't tell any difference in brightness or colour, only sharpness thanks to that corrective lens. I was a little concerned that the colour may be affected but I can confidently assure you that everything remains as vibrant and bright as ever. Regarding the anti-glare coating, it isn't perfect but it is much better than having the lenses without it so I'd say this is a necessity if you're going to get any lens inserts whatsoever. The only time I'm able to see glare, even with the coating, is in cinema mode or loading screen that are white on black, such as those in Gran Turismo 7. The loading screen thing doesn't bother me at all as it's just whilst you're there waiting, but it has sometimes been a small pain in cinema mode when I look slightly away from the screen and not directly at it. That said, the clarity boost that the lens inserts give far outweighs that small flaw, so I do keep them installed at all times and have no intention of ever using the headset without.
without them now. Just to emphasize how essential I think these are, I'll be buying VR rock lenses for my brother as well, who is also short-sighted, but several times worse than I am, so he'll see the benefits even more than I do. If you are wanting to pick some up for yourself or as a gift, you can use a link in the description and code Octorious for 10% off, as not only will it help the channel, but you'll save yourself some cash too. All you do is enter your prescription info for each eye, select any coatings you would like, and the lenses will then be made to match your exact prescription. If you have any questions or get confused in the order process, VR Rock's customer service is excellent as well and can easily be contacted from their website. Now, before you go diving into any more games on your PSVR 2, and whilst you wait for those lens inserts to arrive, I recommend changing some of the default PSVR 2 settings by watching a video on screen now.